This video will cover some tips and tricks that you can use to optimize your creation of uh, content in the outline, you know, ways of referencing pages, and how some best practice tips. Uh, so, first off, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the outline designer, go to my content structure here. So, uh, something useful, very useful, that I haven't really talked through much is uh, the duplicate feature and why that would be so powerful is, so let's say I'm, I'm making a new course to make lesson one. I'm doing it much more lesson and topic based. Uh, so I have my content, you know, or actually it's intro. Let's say, let's say if this was the structure I was going for, it would be maybe an introduction. And then I have topic one. And then I have topic two. And we'll say even that there are three topics per lesson. Now, there are other ways of doing this ahead of time. Uh, in you know using an instructional template, but uh, or a wrap up, we'll say. Uh, but this is an, yet another way that you can go about doing this. So I've created this lesson one. Let's say it's you know this is well structured. I have my topics. They're going to be done this way every time. Uh, maybe topic one is always going to be a little more in depth. Uh, take a quiz. You know it has some instructions in it. Assignments. You know, again, it's the idea is not to get these labels perfectly correct. It's the structure that we care about. So let's say lesson one is perfect. Uh, what I can do that is I'm going to duplicate lesson one, and we'll say you know maybe there are five lessons in this course, so we're going to replicate it five times, or maybe six lessons. Sorry, so you replicate five times. Um, sure, I want to duplicate the hierarchy. Let's duplicate that. It's going to run a, a little batch job, if you will, and we'll give you some messages like that. Um, and you'll see now, I'll refresh the page just so you can see the outline as a whole. So I have my, my lesson containers, I have my included pages underneath them. Then I could just go in and say, all right, well, it's lesson two. And then this next one is lesson three. And um, this is also another little thing, the default behavior is, because these are all named the same, uh, Drupal's, you know, the underlying system too, obviously, the default convention is just take things and then name them alphabetically. So that's why, you know, even though I'm changing this one right here to lesson five, it then is going to reorder itself at the bottom. Um, so that's another little thing to, to keep in mind. But now I've been able to effectively stamp out my, hier my hierarchy again. Uh, five more times and create my course a lot more rapidly. Uh, something else you can do is you know, utilize the the expand collapse. Um, that's a nice another nice way of getting kind of this is your table of contents effectively of viewing the course as a whole. Um, replicating these lessons rapidly like that is another good way of you know getting instructor buy-in potentially uh, to say okay well let's see what that structure would look like for the students across the semester. You also notice whenever I do that it's updated the course outline. So I have my navigation, I have the entire structure that I can walk through. We can start to make interface decisions off of this and have a conversation around it. That's really what a lot of the duplication functionality in the outline designer is uh, and what it's all about. Another thing is, uh, you know, I mentioned you can rapidly delete. Say I accidentally created this one. Let's delete that hierarchy and we'll just get rid of lesson six entirely as well as all of the pages underneath it. Uh, something else you can do, say I created a bunch of these in error. I could move lesson two into lesson one and then do a delete hierarchy. And now I'm not just deleting this branch of content, I'm deleting all the branch of content that was underneath it. So this is kind of a more of a rapid cleanup thing. I end up doing this sometimes as I'm shooting videos and things. Uh, so it's not always applicable and you know, it's always please exercise caution when you're using delete as you are getting rid of things entirely. Um, you can also change types, which, uh, you know, say I, I did showcase in one of the videos that we could change this type from welcome to our page to a folder. Uh, something else you can do, you can even change this welcome from a page to a reference page. And now by default, if I go to the welcome, it will still have material before, sorry, it has all these messages, um, which, yeah, it still has my welcome video, but then if I edit it, I can effectively point this reference to a new location. So this is how you can kind of alter your course after the fact in certain pages. 